let's see the applications architecture. We're going to build a Phoenix Live View app that is called Poetic Coins, which uh, receives real-time trades from uh, multiple cryptocurrency exchanges. And with Live View, it displays prices and other data on an interactive dashboard. Since the dashboard just shows the most recent data, we don't need any database. We'll see how to use Elixir processes to keep all we need in memory. Our application is actually made by two parts, the Poetic Coins core functionalities and the uh, Phoenix uh, web part. Once we've built uh, the core functionalities, the live view part will heavily rely on them. The data we need, the trades, come from uh, cryptocurrency exchanges. Each client runs on a gen server process that manages its own WebSocket connection. All the clients are supervised by the exchange's supervisor. In this way, if a client crashes, the supervisor restarts the process. When Coinbase client or Bitsum client uh, receives a trade event, this event is mapped to a trade struct. This struct is then broadcasted to a PubSub topic. By using PubSub, we can decouple the clients from the rest of the application and then easily subscribe from other processes to receive real-time trades. We use an historical process to keep in memory the last trades. To access uh, to these functionalities, to these core functionalities from the web part, we use a Poetic Coins context, which is a module that acts as a public interface, hiding the complexity of the underlying parts. Let's now focus on the web and the live view part. When a user connects to our dashboard, a live view process is spawned. To render the widgets with the prices and the chart, the live view process gets the most recent trades from the historical process and subscribes to the pub subtopic to get new trades. Let's see how a trade event coming from an exchange triggers an update on our crypto dashboard. So if our Coinbase client is connected to the Coinbase Pro uh, WebSocket API, when it receives a trade event, it maps this trade event to a trade struct, which is then broadcasted using a pub sub server to one or many LiveView processes. Then LiveView triggers an update on, the, on a specific widget, updating the price, the date time, and the chart. And this is the whole architecture with all the components we are going to see. We see that our application is split in two parts, the Poetic Coins core and the web part. We'll start by quickly see how the Poetic Coins core part was built and how to use its public interface. Then we'll move to the live view part, building the dashboard ourselves.